Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm really pleased to be able to show you the all new Mutt Mushman. So it's a new model. Uh, it was previously in the uh, Mutt lineup. It's been completely restyled and remodeled uh, and it's just been released. Uh, this is our first one and I uh, have to say this is absolutely stunning. Um, so I'm going to do a short video to give you an idea about what the bike is, uh, what's changed, uh, show you some of the really nice features that, uh, that come with the bike. So um, if you don't know Mutt already, uh, Mutt uh, do a range of uh, lifestyle style bikes, 125cc air cooled and 250cc air cooled. This is uh, the 125 version, uh, produces around 11 or 12 horsepower of a top speed of about 60 miles an hour. Um, really great bit of kit, well made, uh, great fun to, to spin around the lanes at the weekends um, and to do a bit of off-roading if you want. Um, so yeah, on that subject, let's start at the front then. So 18 inch wheels, uh, wire wheels as you can see with tube knobbly tires. Um, very, very capable lightweight bike to take off road if you wanted to. Um, it's got three pot calipers on this side. Um, it's actually got uh, combined brakes. So when you press the rear brake, you get one pot braking on the front. Um, bikes now have to have either ABS or combined braking. This has the latter. Um, and it's a good thing to have actually, for, especially if you're a first time rider or a returning rider. Um, I actually think it balances the bike really well, particularly at slow speeds, um, which is a good thing again if you're uh, taking it off road. The bike comes as standard with a 300 millimeter uh, single disc just on the right hand side. As I said, it's quite lightweight. It doesn't need any more braking. Um, it's got this nice uh, wire mesh uh, mud guard on the front, which I think looks really, really cool. Uh, very period. And it's also got braided lines uh, and gaiters on the forks to protect it from dirt, mud and stuff like that. Uh, one of the uh, new styling uh, add-ons, I guess you could say, is the, the short mud guard at the top, very similar to the Razorback, and it's also got um, powder-coated black engine bars as well. So again, if you did want to take it off-road, that's all protected. Uh, you've got a nice sump guard, again, painted black just underneath the, uh, the front there, um, and a nice exhaust heat shield as well to protect it if you were to take it off-road. As we pan up a little bit, you'll see uh, a few more new features. So really nice LED spotlights um, on the front end, LED indicators all around, uh, and some knee grips on the tank as well. The tank is actually um, uh, quite a bit bigger, uh, a bit wider and a bit more robust looking. Um, and you've got this really nice inset uh, decal on the, uh, on the side of the tank here as well. Everything on the side of the engine, um, side fairings and everything like that is all black. It's a twin shocker, as you would uh, expect for anything that's gonna be riding off road. Um, so these bikes handle the, the UK roads very well, being quite potholed. Uh, like I said, it's, it's quite a robust little bit of kit, this. Around the back again, you can see we've got uh, LED indicators, this really small, um, compact towel light, which looks really nice, and a new seat. Uh, again, all aimed at, I think, scrambling and off-road, so this looks nice and durable, uh, e easy to wipe clean as well. One of the other features on Mushman that you haven't seen on any other model yet is this. Um, so this is like a, an exclusively made leather strap uh, and tank protector that goes over the top, so you could fix some luggage on top of this. Looks really, really nice, very well made. Uh, you can see it's all hand-stitched leather, um, and then obviously you've got an offset chrome um, uh, tank cover there as well. Uh, new bar ends on this bike, uh, also uh, unique uh, grips and we've also got some CNC machined adjustable levers on the bike as well, so that's another really nice feature. As we come around this side it's very much the same, uh, as I've already said just one disc, only one needed on this, uh, quite skinny tyres compared to the likes of Sabbath uh, and some of the other off-road inspired models, chain driven, 5 speed gearbox, uh, like I said a top speed of around 60 miles an hour. So. These bikes are built for fun. Uh, they're a lifestyle model, uh, very, very popular, um, and absolutely stunning, well put together as well. Two year warranty, you get roadside assistance with them as well. You get two keys. Uh, the cockpit's a nice uh, place to be. It's nice and basic. You've got this retro offset clock, uh, just gives you the basic information, your fuel, revs and speed, etc. You don't need anything more than that, really, um, for this type of bike. Like I said, it's a really well made, really nice tidy bike. This is the first one we've had, it comes in two colours. Uh, so this obviously being grey as you can see, uh, there is also an olive green version as well. Same as you would see on Hilts uh, and a couple of other, the, other, the other models. So this bike is in stock and available for sale now. Uh, as a main dealer, we can offer the warranty and parts. Uh, we do offer finance, part exchange, delivery, all the usual dealer trimmings. 
Uh, if you've got any questions or you'd like to view the bike, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, live chat, we've got all the socials. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you've got. Or feel free to drop into the showroom and try the bike on for size. That's it from me. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.